how am I even gonna see this? <laughs> did I think about this before I did it? Not really. <sighs> Ooh, I feel like it got in my eye. Oof, this sh hit me. Should put some goggles on. All right, y'all. So jumping right into this video. Oh, oh jump, jump scare. <laughs> Yes, I know I look crazy, but this is what we're starting from. Okay, I haven't shampooed my hair in literally like three weeks, so it's definitely time for that. But I just figured since I haven't shampooed my hair, it's best to just go ahead and do this on unshampooed hair. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is just split my hair down the middle as evenly as I possibly can. I'm not too worried about if it's center center or not. I mean, I want it center, but like if it's crooked a little bit, it's okay, cause I probably won't be wearing my hair in the middle part anyway. Did I eat that? Boy, if you don't get- Now typically you don't wanna comb through your hair as much or at least not vigorously before you do any kind of chemical. So I'm just gonna try to lightly do it just to get any tangles out cause I don't wanna be stressing while I'm applying this lightener. So the products I'm using today is the Goldwell Light Dimensions Lightening Powder. So it lifts up to a level nine. So it is very, very heavy duty. I'm like at a level one. I'm gonna need this to get to the level that I want to do this orange, okay? And I'm gonna pair that with 30 volume developer. I thought about doing 20 cents. This lightener is so high power, but if I know what I know and been doing what I'm doing, I know that I need at least 30 volume to really get like a light, bright lift. So we're gonna stick to 30 today. And also this lightening powder says don't use 40 volume. So we're gonna follow directions for your hair fallout and we're gonna use just 30. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my measurements. Uh, I might put what I do on the screen, I don't really know, but let me go ahead and mix this up and I'm gonna be right back. So I did forget to do one thing. I am gonna put a little bit of petroleum jelly on my undercut and on the um, like part of the other half of my head, just so we don't process the hair that we not intend in the process. How am I even gonna see this? <laughs> did I think about this before I did it? Not really. I don't necessarily want hot roots. So I'm gonna stay about this far away from the root. Go all the way down until about an inch the ends. I do need to work fast with this, but at the same time, it's hard to do the back of my hair. But you just wanna make sure that you fully saturate the hair when you are coloring. Like it got in my eye. Oof. This sh hit me. Should put some goggles on. This sh strong. All right, so I did underestimate how much hair I had on one side of my head. So this is basically how much I've gotten through. I still have this whole section i'm just making another two scoops because i still gotta go back to my roots and my ends okay so i finished applying the first round of lightener to the shaft the back is already turning well let, hold on hold on hold on on that hold on hold on now hold on well this didn't process evenly oh bitch my mother chest <laughs> So this is what my hair is looking like now. I actually really like the outcome. There's different hues of the yellow, orange, whatever going on, which I appreciate because I love to have different hues of the same color in my hair. 
However, the ends, as you can see, are still pretty much its natural color. There's like a couple dark spots in the root somewhere. It's not bad, but I just want to go ahead and touch that up. But yeah, I just wanted to come and show y'all what we're looking like so far. Honestly, I would keep my hair like this if I was doing my whole head and just do like the little fox tip, fox tail, whatever it's called. Because this is really cute if I was to do orange and then it like face to black like that's so cute if I was doing my whole head but since I'm not I'm gonna go ahead and lighten my ends so I'm just gonna blow dry it real quick and go ahead and apply that to my ends rinse it out do my big one and once I'm done rinsing it out I will come back and we're gonna get started on the actual color application real simple real cute I just want to show you all my hair I think I did a really good job I didn't really think it was gonna come out this even it's even to me like I know there's different shades of it in there but like for starting on the back and it processing faster than the front and it kind of all coming together I did my big one like period next time I think I'll probably do my ends first and then my roots that might that might have worked better <laughs> okay y'all so I'm done shampooing my hair before I do the color so I did go ahead and do three test strands the first color I got was sunrise orange number 38 and the second color I got was the Cajun Spice number 56. So like I said, I did three test strands. I did one with the Sunrise Orange, one with the Cajun Spice, and then I did another one with both of them combined just to see what color I wanna do. So this one here is the Sunrise Orange. Don't mind my fingers. It's really, really bright. I don't think this is like the orange that I want for the whole half of my head like I feel like I'm gonna look too orange next is the Cajun Spice this one here I feel like it's a little too brown for me so I don't think I'm gonna do just that either and then this one right here is both of them combined so I definitely feel like it's an even balance of the Sunrise Orange and the Cajun Spice it's not too orange and it's not too brown so these are the three colors maybe I can see it like this okay this is a little bit better you see this one the sunrise orange is a little bit bright or a lot of bit bright Cajun spice is way darker than that one and then in the middle we have the mixture so I really like how that one looking I feel like it's gonna look really really good against the black I am gonna add some black to this side all black just to deepen my hair up a little bit more honestly I feel like my hair is a little bit ashy on this side so I just wanted to go ahead and do the jet black and deepen this up so it can contrast a little bit better with the orange. As much as I wanna show y'all the results today, I don't got time, I got things to do later tonight. As y'all can see here, the lightener did touch my undercut a little bit. So I did a little color correction with black, red, and blue hair color. This ain't the video to explain color correction. You know, the girls that get it, get it. But basically I used those colors to neutralize the yellow in my undercut. And I used that same mixture to go over the black side near my part, just in case some of the lightener from the first round got on it. It's looking really good. I'm really loving it. I am, ah, oh, this is gonna be great. Throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up. Alright y'all, the only thing left is just to process with heat, rinse, shampoo, style, and y'all will see me when I'm a bad bitch.
okay i know y'all are used to seeing me dressing it up and making it real for y'all i just never got around to it for this video but this right here was after i shampooed conditioned and blow dried my hair and i'm just going to show y'all quick pictures and videos of how this color looked it came out so good so vibrant i really wish i could have got cute for y'all but i did do this color two days before halloween so the best i can do is show y'all my orange scarecrow look and the other ways i style this color yes i did this way back in october of last year and i wish i could have posted it for y'all in the fall but it is what it is and we here now the orange has faded since then and i am thinking about changing the color for the new season so definitely stay tuned for that keep my post notifications turned on because i will be posting a lot more on youtube this year i have big news and story times coming soon but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video today if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Shit, I'm thinking I'm curving a pimp. Shit, I'm cooking up dope like a dinner. Shit, I curve on sick nigga trip. Shit, I'm floating, I'm mad in the blimp. You ate that. <laughs> <laughs>